ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions in another five-star silver character gameplay preview video. And today, I got Jay Uso for you, the Usos, the other brother. I just brought you Jimmy. Now we're bringing Jay. So we're gonna go ahead and check him out. His hair doesn't move. His shirt doesn't move around. Made a stiff model. Pretty dumb. Pretty dumb. Uh, okay. So let's take a look at his poster. Very useful coach. Technician sub coach. Uh, at 9K, you can reduce opponent sub turns by three. He has the Usos link for matching purple gems. Charge those moves by two more. And any color move start with one more move point. Fatu family and raw. As well as the modern era link. He has no gear. Now when we look at... Well, let me just check because I don't remember. Honestly, his five star move decrease your countdown gem timers by two and his four star move is the dragon whip uh one turn uh one mp yellow deal six thousand damage and make five random gems into countdown gems that will deal deal zero damage and destroy four random sub gems when activated so it's just a submission protection very special uh like specialty thing to use there like i don't know you'd have to really be setting that one up so we're not going to use that and the decrease your countdown gem timers by two i mean we probably could figure out something for that but i just don't think that anything he's going to do is going to work better than the first move set right here um he does have a move that'll do bonus damage for countdown gems so i suppose you could use this one turn move to just uh spam out countdown gems and then try and do the bonus for that so maybe we will try that at the end i guess i really wasn't thinking about the original finisher so we could use that and the purple move and the green move or no nah? i don't know we'll have to see guys we'll have to see so choose four to destroy that would be helpful for setting up the finisher for it you just have to hope you got enough with that but what i uh he's got a recycle set here it's got a green move, Samoan drop, six charge, green, deal 22k damage and destroy four random purple gems. Then he's got the two purple moves, six charge, northern light, suplex, deal 25k damage and choose four to make into three turn countdown gems that will destroy a random two by two area when activated. Uh, running hip attack, seven charge, deal 24k damage and choose four gems to destroy. So basically the green move will recycle the purples and the purple hopefully you can recycle the green. And every so often your countdown gems are going to go off and you're going to get a big burst of damage. So I'm not going move point trainer because these are 667 right here. Very low charge. And I'm going to put Jimmy on there. So purple moves will that destroy gems will destroy three more. So you can choose seven and will also give me an extra countdown gem on that move. Then we got Harper on here for moves that destroy purple gems will destroy five more. So I can destroy nine potentially with that. And I got Andrade for extra chance of purple on the original board. And Tech Cena for uh, green gems do 15% more damage. And moves that generate countdown gems will create one more. So now we got six countdown gems on this move right here. So we're going to go out here. I don't have a good matchup, guys. I really don't. I really don't. Um, I'm locked behind a ton of matches on the road that I don't have the right person to get past, and I don't really have any five-star silver opponents that I can go against. So this is literally the best I got right now. And uh, we're gonna, we'll do a couple of different matches here. Like I have a Texina five-star silver unlock to go against, but you gotta use RA era, and I can't uh, put that up right now. So I don't know what happens when I get past that. And there's some other women's matches I can maybe dump a bunch of props and revive bucks with my Bailey on to win. But until we get that figured out, I don't know. I don't, uh, I'll be trying to do five-star bronze previews so I can keep these matches more even. Like, I could go against Vader uh, like I did for Jimmy at first. But with the silver extra damage, I feel like I, that wouldn't be fair uh, because he doesn't have the straps. I, I go against him to try and keep it fair. So... Uh, the way we're set up now, you can hit green or purple turn one to start up what you're going to do. And we'll see. Ray hits uh, pretty quickly, too. And I have no protection against multiply gems, so he'll be at full potential against me. 
And I will have to deal with the nerfs because I have the stronger superstar here. All right, nine random purples going. Looks like there's five on the board. We're gonna get some cascades with this for sure. We're going to get some cascades with this for sure. And I don't even know, Harper might not be the best choice because after you white purple once, uh, you might not get a whole bunch back on the board like that. And you really don't need all of that to, to recycle. It'd be nice if it covered up his multiply gems here. That'd be, oh, oh yeah, oh I can, I thought it was random. Uh, let's just do that. Now I can choose seven to destroy. Let's get this green figured out here. Wait. There's that. Now, the problem is I only have two purple on the board, so I feel like I've definitely wasted that uh, trainer on Harper here. I'm honestly just going to swipe here. Rather than use that move with no more purple to fill up. Because what good is that even going to do? I can get three now. Is that enough? Yeah, it's enough to... No, I need four for that move, so... Oh, well, we'll do that now. Because then on my next turn at start, it'll be better. And I'll get a green MP back for that next turn. There we go. And we got the green cascade. So whatever we did there ended up being the best play. Yikes. Ah, see, then that happens when I'm in. Happens when I'm covered. Right, here goes the purple. Had plenty that time. That works, that works. Go ahead and put some more of these down. Got a lot of countdown gems on the board now. We could have a whole board blow up coming eventually here. But I doubt I'll probably be covered when it happens or he's going to end up busting it up. So I'm not doing a tremendous amount of damage, but recycle, refill, recycle, refill, recycle, refill. Uh, this is what you're going to do in singles matches, but in tag matches, he's a whole different character. So that's going to be the real strength. And I'm going to do a separate video on him chronicling what he does as a tag team partner because he's way more valuable as a tag team partner. Very much Dango-ish. Very much Dango-ish. The lower rarities, this works great as like a 3-star. If 3-star gold was the cap, he'd be a really good superstar, I think. And I know, like, I'm being critical and I'm winning the match pretty well, but look at how far we outclass him. And... If I didn't outclass him by this much, would the match even be going this well? I don't know. Very long match right here, though, for sure. We'll try and do something with uh, spamming out countdown gems and using that finisher after this. There we go. Still, it's in the kickout, like... You kind of want that damage, and it's just not worked out for me yet. Alright, 
everything's full. See what happens. This guy took a lot of health off of me, though. Now, if Jay had uh, another key point, if you had a flat purple move damage metal on him and these were doing 70k damage a piece so 140k damage per turn like you got to think about that difference like man he would be a monster with that extra purple move damage on there because you're literally hitting these like every turn and sometimes you could hit him twice so Hmm. Suppose I'll just take what I get the damage for there. Because this is going to destroy the purples anyways. I don't know if that's going to end up doing it or what, but... Should. That's only 48k. We should have that. No, we still don't have that. He's going to kick out again. He just won't give it up. Just won't give it up. But you can see the straight recycle now. You put a, like I said, you put a purple flat move damage 50k on there. My man. Whew. It would just hit different. But this is how uh, the flow works, basically. Very simple. Purple feeds green. Green feeds purple. Go ahead and try and farm some loot boxes back out here at the end, right? Alright, so that's the recycle set. Like I said, he's got some specialty stuff. But let's see if we can put something together with the, uh, the countdown gems and that other finisher and see what kind of damage he can do with it. It didn't look too promising to me. It's so hard to keep them on the board. Let's pick a different opponent. I want somebody who's not going to manipulate the board so much. Like, is there anybody that might leave the board alone? Drew, maybe? 40 health packs, yama mama. Okay, so we got a one turn here. This has definitely got to come into play. Do we just keep putting that one out? And then go for this, or do I do both of these moves that make countdown gems? Because I feel like at least with this move, we could double dip the uh, countdown gems in one turn. And then that will also help us fill the other one, so. There's nobody else that makes countdown gems besides Jimmy, right? Okay, what about damage? Is there countdown gem damage? You never know. Sometimes you go look. Let's see. Nope, I don't see unless they're just not available. So that would have been nice. So I can... This one gives them... Uh, an extra one. So him and Jimmy still got to be on there. Who's going to be this thing? Green finishers deal more damage? I don't know. I guess so. Doink. Thirty percent more. But can I do more? Will, will that hit green moves too? So fifty-six k damage plus that. Again, if you had a metal on there, you could. 
You could potentially 100k that plus the bonus damage. Let's just see what happens. It's probably not going to be great. I'm going to leave my health down a little bit here. Because if this doesn't work, uh, there's really nothing else we got. So his other move is uh, decrease your uh, tag counter and gain purple MP. So I want to show you guys that one. But just not in this video. I want to do a specific video where I'm setting up tag links for him and everything. Okay, well that works. We're getting a lot of countdown gems early here. Let's see what happens. How many green do I need for this? Five. And I'm going to get seven out of this. Dang, that is definitely going to... So I really only need four green because I'm going to cover him. And the other ones can just be more purple. Alright, let's keep some more going. I, when I first look at that move, I just think of, like, the submission or whatever. And, like, why would I want to kick out of a submission with countdown gems? But I suppose it also protects you from submission. And then we can hit this. Let's see how this does. Uh, a very, well, 127k. Very underwhelming for a finisher. But let's just play this out and see how it flows out here. We do got a green match on the board. No five breaks, though. Nothing to... I'm not really prioritizing yellow, and I'm not prioritizing purple on this turn, because... Oh, my goodness, and I take the yellow anyway while I'm saying that. What a dummy. I was so going to break green there. Oh, well. We've got him outclassed pretty far anyway, so what's the difference? And that's going to waste all of our gems. That's the problem when you get covered there. Boom, look how many. They're all gone. Starting over. Cascades. The Cascades are real. See, when you have purple ready, you should be able to hit that yellow move twice in a turn. Unbelievable. Here we go again. Board dependency. I keep getting lucky matches. If I wasn't at the five silver level, like this wouldn't even be close. He would have want me. 127k for a finisher for a five star silver. And I had a lot of countdown gems out at that time. Like, that's kind of underwhelming. If there's an opponent that turns the whole board into countdown gems, this might be super effective against that, but... Uh, Zombie Seth. If you're going against Zombie Seth, you could womp him with this. As long as... Oh, if you got... Say you had a Jey Uso with an anti-stun, you would never lose to Zombie Seth. Alright, let's see if we can do this without cascading this time. I need one yellow, I need, dang, that looks like two green, but it might be three. I didn't check. Okay, sit down, there we go. Get some more of these out. It would take an arsenal of stuff, like you could potentially dress this uh, Jey Uso build up. 
and do something with it, but you're gonna need a lot. You're gonna need a you're gonna need skill plate, you're gonna need top notch medals on there, and you're gonna need max max trainers. Without that max Jimmy and that Texina, forget about it. This is painfully long, too. Painfully long. And now I got no uh, board help here. He does change the board around a lot, because at least when the countdown gems go off, like it does change the board up. So if you got a bad board, it might give you a good board. Although if you got a good board, it might give you a bad board. So Look at this. Drew's almost going to be... I know I didn't heal. I was down 40 health packs from the first one. But this guy has just been knocking me around. Painfully long. Gosh. Still can't put him away. He's gonna end up winning. He is so gonna end up winning. Oh, there's no way I'm kicking out of that. Underwhelming, but I'm sure people would have wanted to see that set, though. You're just going to have to have more attached to it than I have here. For sure. Let's just kick out there. We're done. Okay. So. That's why I say that first set, the recycle set, it works well. That's what you're using in solos. Don't try to, don't try to get fancy with this. And if you do have a build for that, uh, that finisher, let me know that. But I just really don't also see it being the other choose one because what are the odds of you hitting that multiple times in a turn i don't know decrease your countdown gem timers by two you could put that on with the two purples or even with the other green and try to use that to do gem damage with this so that as long as they don't pin you that turn the next turn you blow up a bunch of the board you could try that um, but really, this is what we're looking at right here. Super kick. Deal 83, 17 damage. Reduce owner's tag counter by two turns and gain three purple MP. So you're going to want to use that yellow move in conjunction with purple. That will... Uh, you put these purples out on the board or, or keep doing the purple moves here. And you can use that choose gems to destroy to load whatever color you want so he can be a good setup man for a good quick tag partner for a lot of people now pending you have jay and you have jimmy in the entourage to make that choose seven to destroy so he's quick loading and tagging in a lot of people reducing the tag counter so not quite as good as dango but he's definitely up there so if you guys got anything to add about jay Uso, let me know down in the comment section below uh, I'm hoping to get a better system of opponents and uh, showing you guys this soon. So until then, we work with what we got, champions. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It's a red button right underneath this video player. Just click it. It says subscribe. That's it. And while you're down there, you drop an insane elbow right down on that thumbs up button for me, guys. Those things are free to you and uh, it doesn't cost you nothing and it takes like five seconds. So why wouldn't you do that for me? So until next time, guys. Peace.